Oh, good morning everybody, uh, this is Craig Shepherd from Shepherd Property. Um, I'm here outside my latest acquisition, uh, which we picked up the keys uh, yesterday. Um, this is a lovely four bedroom uh, property uh, in Leighton Buzzard, and uh, it's, yeah, it's very exciting. Um, it's kind of weird because I know the neighbours, uh, that house there is actually my mum and dad's house. <laughs> so they've lived here for 36 years, and um, it's a nice little uh, cul-de-sac of uh, almost identical houses that were built in um, uh, 1977. Uh, 1977, some people may know, is the year that um, Star Wars uh, was made. So yeah, this is old as, uh, as Harrison Ford and Luke Skywalker. Anyway, uh, we have the, uh, uh, the keys and um, it's a four bedroom property. And if you notice, it's got a, a garage on the side there. Um, and I've actually got my architect turn up very shortly and then we're gonna look at converting that garage to um, fifth bedroom using sort of similar style windows to what we've already got there um, now this little cul-de-sac it's got about 15 houses in the cul-de-sac and there's only two people who use the garage for vehicles one was the um the owners of this property and the other one is is um my mum and dad's property so everybody else just uses their garage for sort of storage so uh, it wouldn't be that much of a, a difference but could obviously increase the value yeah so today it's exciting the architects turn up shortly um, tomorrow I've got a lighting consultant turning up to see um, if we can change the internal lights to give it that real wow uh, factor and the letting agent is also turning up tomorrow and then that will uh, be able to determine uh, what's the maximum rent we can get for it. So what we'll do is we'll do a quick walkthrough if I can work out how to spin the camera around it's one of these buttons. Um, oh, no, I don't know which one buttons do so we'll just do it uh, visually. So coming up to the garage which is what we're going to talk about today and well it's one hand it is awkward yeah so garage Whoa. <laughs> make sure you push the door up properly otherwise it could hit you on the head so um right coming into the back of the garage we've got the boiler um uh, next week i've got the plumber turning up and he'll be doing sort of full uh, gas landlord safety check on it to make sure um, if you shut the garage door over, you can see up the top there is uh, a very old-fashioned electrical distribution board. So that's definitely something that needs changing. But uh, with all the properties we do, we do full renovation works and get all the electrics and all the gas um, up to spec. Anyway, carry on into the house. All right. Coming through the hallway. This bit of wall here may be the entrance into the fifth bedroom. That's probably an easy place to put the plate. Coming through into the lounge. Yeah, anyway, it's nicely decorated. Uh, probably slightly old fashioned for my particular taste, um, but you can almost let it out straight away. Coming through into uh, the dining room. Um, you know, some people may want to sort of hive off this dining room and make it into another bedroom. So it has the potential for potentially being a six bed HMO. Um, the other option of, of the entrance to the fifth bedroom in the garage could be through that wall there. Uh, so that's part of the things we're discussing today. Coming through into the kitchen, you know, we've got space for um, fridge. Uh, the previous owners left the washing machine and the dishwasher. And we've got space for the cooker. Strangely, you didn't have any extractor on there. Um, the tiles in the photos didn't look that particularly brilliant, but actually up close, they're not too bad. Uh, the flooring is probably a little bit old fashioned, but yeah, perfectly serviceable. And then coming through this way, there's a little downstairs toilet and then an entrance out to the side. So we're reviewing all of these different things and seeing, you know, is it worth spending um, tons of money doing this whole conversion uh, to the garage probably be about 15 grand uh, all in when you actually add up all the costs and how would that actually increase the value um, of the uh, property so one of the things that we did when we were actually buying the property um, we managed to get quite a good deal on it so the, the people that uh, lived here were in their late 80s and they were very concerned about the whole covid situation and for them, speed was more important than, than cost. They wanted to move into a warden-supported um, bungalow. 
They're in the late 80s and obviously stairs are getting a bit of an issue. Um, so I gave a really cheeky offer, not ridiculously um, cheap, but managed to knock over £50,000 off the asking price, um, which was pretty good. Um, they were happy uh, because it was a cash purchase. I could complete the deal nice and quick, so that suited them. They've now moved into their new place and they're very happy with that, so that's good. Um, now, before I show you across the way, uh, when this came onto the market, the house um, across the way, over there, went on the market as well. And that was advertised at 475 and has actually sold for 460 £5,000. So the fact I've picked this up for 400 means I've already created um, £65,000 of equity um, before I even picked up the keys. And then if we do the conversion to the garage to make it a um, five bedroom property, then that will actually add more, hopefully get about £100,000 worth of equity in the property. And then it's a case of refinance and um, be able to get all of our money out. Um, so that's the plan. So. Uh, yes, it's below market value because of the circumstances of the vendor, but we managed to help them. They're very happy that they can fleet and move on, and I'm happy that I've got a nice deal. So, got the investors turning up tomorrow and um, to see what we've purchased.